Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions. My name is David and in today's episode we're going to be looking at making a random drop system when you open a crate, a box, or anything throughout your game that you'll be able to open and want random loot in. Before I go any further I'd like to say sorry for the lack of videos this previous week. Reason I wasn't uploading so much is I'm actually just getting over a cold and I felt good this morning so I decided to make this video. With that being said let me open up Unity and show you the finished product of what we're going to be creating today. Here we are in the game that we've been creating. Let's go ahead and open up that box with the key we created last time. And we'll notice that something spawns inside. In this case, it's a knife. Now if I exit the game and go back in, let's grab that key again and walk up to the box. This time, we got a Glock. So it's a random drop system. It's completely RNG because it's a random number that the game picks as soon as it starts. Let me actually show you how I accomplished this. Let's jump into Unity right before I created this system. As always guys, while this is loading, if you guys could drop me a like, subscribe, click that notification bell so that way you guys know when I upload a new video, it'd help me out a ton and I'd much appreciate it. Also, as usual, everything I use in this video, including models, scripts, and sound effects, you can find a free download link to in the description down below. As well as, we have a Discord server now, so if you guys want to get in on that, I post updates and other behind the scenes stuff in there, and it's just an easier way to communicate with me besides the YouTube comment section. All right, here we are in Unity right before we created that little system. First and foremost, this is way too dark for me because when we created the flashlight, I turned the directional light all the way down. We're just going to change that intensity back to 1. That way we can see what's actually going on in the game itself. Now, in the previous tutorial, we created this little box and this key, and the box will not open without this key in our inventory. What we're going to be doing is actually expanding upon that script we created. So I'm going to go into the scripts folder, and from the download link in the description, I'm going to click and drag open box with loot i'm gonna put that in here and let's open it up so i can show you what's going on i'm not going to go over it all because we kind of went over it all in the previous tutorial pretty much what i've added are these six public game objects for six different drops and then a random number now this random number ranges from zero to five and we put that in the start function so the game picks it right in the beginning we do the number zero to five because that is six digits because unity registers zero as one of the numbers scrolling on down you can see as soon as we open the box if we have the key if we are in reach and if we press down interact it does everything we need it to to open and then it will turn one of these random objects on very simple script let's go back to unity real quick I'm going to go to the models folder, and I have a medikit, an M4, a knife, a Glock, and it's ammo, along with some AR ammo. Those are the models I'm going to be clicking and dragging into the, the uh, assets right here. First and foremost, let's go to the box object and make sure that we uncheck open box script. And then let's click and drag open box with loot. And now that that's there, we can actually just go like this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to collapse some of this stuff so we can work in here a little easier. Uh, we need to pretty much bring everything we have in this script down here. So what I'm going to do to do that is just, if you press these objects here, it'll highlight them. So pretty much just highlight, click and drag. Very simple, and it's only going to take a couple of seconds here. And once that's done, you'll notice we have these six drops to worry about. They're not necessary for the script to work, let me show you. So if we go into the game, grab that key, and go up to the box, it can still open. It'll just be empty. And if you want empty boxes for the player to explore and maybe, you know, have a zero possibility of getting anything, that is how you would accomplish that. Kind of keeps the environment still alive while it's actually dead. But it helps the player feel like they have full control over a lot of things in the game. Now we're going to start adding stuff to the box, though, for the actual loot. So what I'm going to do to make this a little easier is I'm going to go into the box and... Go to box top and i'm just going to uncheck it so that way we can actually see inside the box without it being there now from the models that we just clicked and dragged into our assets we can start placing them inside this box let me show you what i mean i'm gonna go to the medikit and always use the fbx file just because that's what unity reads better than the blender file the blender file i put in the files just because if you want to go in and edit the texture itself or even the model you can do that so let's click and drag the meta kit right in here, scale it down proportionally, and we'll rotate a little bit and make sure it's in that box exactly where you want it, just like that, okay? So that way when the player opens it, and if the RNG is correct, the box will spawn right there. The meta kit, I mean. 
and then I'm just going to click and drag that object into the testing box like that, okay? So that way it's part of the box. We can actually go ahead and now uncheck the meta kit, just like that, okay? Let's go to the next object. Next I'm going to bring in that M4 model, and right off the bat you'll realize it comes with a camera and a light. Now say you don't want the camera and light, I know I don't. You just have to right click on that specific model and unpack prefab completely, open it up, and then you can actually delete the camera and then the lamp, alright? Now the base texture on both the guns is very bland. So what I'm actually going to do is create a material for both of these real quick. We're going to go into the folder that the gun is located in, create material. I'm just going to call it gun metal. We'll click and drag the texture into right here. I'm going to put metallic up to about 0.80. And then the smoothness, this is what you guys want to play around with to figure out where you want it. I'm going to put it at about 0 0.60. And then we can start click and dragging that onto the gun and it's pieces like this. And now it kind of looks a little better. It looks more like metal and it reflects off the environment a little more. Uh, playing with these values right now, you can actually see it being done in real time. I think these are the two numbers I'm going to stick with. 0.86 for metallic, 0.81 for smoothness. I think that looks the best. And now, just like the meta kit, we are going to just click and drag it into the box accordingly. Once you have it in that box or whatever object you want it in, make it a child of that object and then uncheck it so it disappears. And now I'm just going to skip ahead to me putting the knife and the two ammos and the Glock in the box. What else I'm going to do is take that gunmetal material we created earlier and also be putting that on the Glock so it makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so now I have all the objects in this box. They're right here as a child of it. They're all scaled down accordingly and deactivated. So let's go into the box itself and start assigning each one of these drops to the dropped object inside the box script like this. You can randomize them any which way you want. You can have certain objects in the drops more. What I mean by that is say you want the Glock to be the rarest thing inside this box. You could put it in one slot and then have ammo in every other slot so it's a 1 out of 6 chance you get a Glock while it's a 5 out of 6 chance you pick up ammo for it. And once those objects are in here, it is over for this. This is pretty much the entire script, the entire tutorial. Let me just show you it in action real quick. Make sure it works, like pick up this key and then we walk over to the box and we had a knife spawn, very nice. Let me actually exit out of here and uncheck max on play and let's see what's going on with this script. So you'll notice this random number at the bottom is going to be picked as soon as we start the game. Let me let me show you that. So we got the random number of 1, which by looking at the script itself, we know we're going to get the M4. So let's pick up the key. E and we sure enough pick up the M4. It might be different for you depending how you put the objects in the drop spots. But now what's pretty cool about this script is you can't actually change that number once it's been ticked. So I put it to 3 and go back to the game. It won't change what's in that box. I change it to 5. It won't change what's in that box again. Let's do it before we actually open the box. So we get a random number of 0. Let's put it to 3 so that way we should get the knife. Okay. Let's go over to pick up and we'll pick it up and we still get the original drop that we were supposed to get this will make it harder for cheaters to actually be cheating in your game if it's this type of system it's because the game has already picked what's in that box before it even started real quick I never realized I put that box top back on the box so now if we play the game it can be a little more dramatic it'll open up and then we'll see the object inside very nice that's about it for this tutorial guys. I'm sorry it was pretty quick, but it was a pretty effective and efficient script that we just went over. It has a lot of potential for a lot of different things that you want to do throughout your game. And also now you have six new models to be playing around with, two guns, ammo for them, a med kit, and a knife. As I said in the beginning guys, this is all free for download in the description down below. All I ask for is a like, and if you subscribe that would help me out a ton. And if you guys want to continue this series with me, remember to click that notification bell. That way you get notified every single time I upload a video. And if you guys have a suggestion for a tutorial in the future, leave it in the comment section. Leave it in the Discord comments. 
and I'll be sure to get to it somewhere down the line. Until the next video guys, this is User1Production signing off for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.